One of the areas that's been hit really hard by the pandemic has been the arts. From ballet and symphonies to artists and sculptors, it's been tough to find work or a venue. But that's changing now, at least in Charleston. Larissa Casillas has more in tonight's Good News with 13 report. Take a look around Charleston and you're bound to see a colorful mural or run into another form of art somewhere. I know me personally, when my family moved to Charleston several years ago, it was really the art scene that really made us fall in love with Charleston. Brian Cooper will be assuming the new role of Charleston's Creativity Connector, a new initiative funded by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. The job is simple but important, connect artists with local businesses. I'm told this mural right behind me at the Red Carpet Lounge is a prime example of a business artist collaboration here in Charleston. Instead of just painting a wall and having it look fine, they decided to go the extra step, hire a local artists, put a mural in, and give something back to the community. In addition, there's the launch of a new website, GetCreativeWB.com, where local artists and businesses can find each other. If it pays, I play. If it ain't, I can't. This is welcome news for musician John Ingram, who says he's looking forward to seeing what connections come out of it, especially now. Basically, everything is uh, is not happening. Nothing's happening right now. So to see something like this happening in Charleston is exciting because I think it's going to give the city uh, some, some new energy. Because they say art is important to driving the economy in Charleston. In Charleston, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you. And this program comes at an especially critical time. Earlier today, the West Virginia Symphony Orchestra here in Charleston announced the cancellation of its October through January schedule due to safety concerns. And unfortunately, that also those cancellations include the performance of the Nutcracker. But the group says they do hope to be able to perform again starting in February.